Hi hey guys, this is the Masters Day 4, the final day, and this was such a good end to a tournament. Uh, to start off, uh, Brant Snedeker lost it really, he had chances to go for it and I think just took the wrong shots. Uh, Leafman played very well, but for me this year has been a little bit about the Australians and to a point the person that you wouldn't expect to come and win, even though you won it before. Uh, well, being contention, should I say? It. Jason Day played very, very well. He just dropped shots at the wrong time, and you feel for him because it's the second time he's come ever so close at this tournament. He will win the Masters one day. I'm sure of it. He got the game for. It. He just need to stop, uh, sort out those little shots and take take the opportunities. But when it actually all came down to it, it came down to Angel Cabrera and Adam Scott. Now, Adam Scott got to the 18th, hadn't birdied a hole all day. Hadn't birdied a hole all day. Takes his putt, the broom handled putt. It'll be very interesting to see what the uh, decision is next week about them as well, considering he just won the, the first major of the year with it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, yeah, so takes the putt, knocks it in, goes down the home straight to the scorecard. Celebrating a little bit like he won it. Now I thought, hang on, mentally that's not good because you still got a bloke behind you who could catch you, which was Angel Cabrera. Uh, Cabrera, Cabrera hit a superb approach shot to the uh, 18th green, knocked it in, and we went on to a playoff. And if anyone knows golf, Cabrera won in a playoff in 09. And he's pretty good when it comes to things like this. So it's like, oh, like I was doubting God actually, considering what has happened and stuff. I at the time, I up until Jason Day was still in the picture, I wanted Jason Day to win it. But when Jason Day uh, was out of contention in the end, I wanted, I really wanted got to win it because I wanted the first Australian to win the Grand Prix. Uh, Grand Prix, sorry, that's because of looking at something there. The Masters. I wanted someone to, uh, the first Australian to win the Masters after so many times of heartbreak with Greg Norman. So, Cabrera hits this superb approach shot and puts it in. We go to a playoff. Uh, they both hit very good drives on the first 18th, on the first hole, which was the 18th. He played the 18th and then the 10th. Played the 18th, hit a superb drive, both of them. Uh, but they both on their approach shot came up short to the green. Now Cabrera went first, chipped it and nearly got it in. It was ever, ever so close. Um, got chipped his in, chipped his onto the green and gets, they both leave the leave the uh, 18th with pass. We go to the 10th hole now. Now both again hit really good drivers and both then hit really good approach shots. Come down to uh, a game of putts, really. Cabrera takes his putt and it's right on line. Get to the back of the cup, like the actual hole, and just hangs on the edge of the lip of the cup. It's like it's not going in. And he just goes and taps it in for his par. Got now seeing that because he had to go last. Uh, Hits his, hits his putt, and it, I'm guessing for him it was an A going in. And drops in, and that's who your master champion was. It's been a very good tournament. I'm very, very happy for Adam got after the heartbreak he suffered in the Open last year. Uh, it's been a very good tournament. I do love watching the Masters, always had done. I will do more PGA events throughout the year. Uh, I'll try and work out how I'm going to do that because I need to sit down and figure out how I'm going to do the PGA event. But I will do the PGA events, that is a show, because I've done, I've done a lot of so far this year. And yeah, so your winner this year was Adam Scott and congratulations to him, he deserves it.